Welcome to my channel where we discuss everything and all things politics, economy, and development in Nigeria and around the world. The Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, NMPCL, has increased the price of fuel from 617 naira per liter to 897 naira per liter effective September 3, 2024. Now, Nigeria is a country where the more things change, the more they remain the same. You know how all of us fought for Dangote when he was denied crude by the government of Bola and Tinubu. Everybody was talking about that it was wrong, what they did. Until he got to the point where the Tinubu administration was pressured to provide crude oil for Dangote and even agreed to sell fuel, crude oil, in Naira to Dangote. The idea of selling crude oil in Naira to local refiners was the brainchild of Peter Obi during the campaign. And if you know, you know. But it was a good development that Bola Metinubu bought into it and agreed to do that. Everybody was happy with Dangote. Now, it appears that Dangote has uh, allegedly connived with the government of President Bola Metinubu to increase the price of fuel. Because the idea for the campaign for Dangote to be supported by the government was that it will help to bring the price of fuel down since Dangote is refining in Nigeria. But alas, we are wrong. Dangote is operating as if it is refining from outside Nigeria. And they have laid groundwork with the government that will make the fuel situation to remain the same. You know, go and cross-check. Before the government of Nigeria increased this fuel price, one of the bets they threw out to Nigerians was that they are owing over six billion dollars to their suppliers. And they don't even know how they are going to get fuel. Take note of that. Within this, and there was serious fuel scarcity. When that happened, I told a colleague, I said, look, these people are laying a groundwork for an increase in price of fuel. In fact, that, that friend called me yesterday and was saying that uh, it's like I'm Nostradamus that I could see tomorrow. I said, I told you. But that was aside. Now, Dangote, when all these things were happening, when Nigeria, when they began to admit, don't forget initially, they were not admitting that they were paying uh, for a subsidy. They suddenly they admitted that they were paying on that recovery or whatever they call it. And uh, when all these situations were developing, suddenly Dangote, who had not been in the media for some time, suddenly appeared to announce that he is going to start rolling out his patrol, that he's going to start patrol, uh, to sell it to Nigerians through his refinery, that they are ready to roll out refined product or refined foil. And when he was asked about the price for the fuel, Dangote said that the price of the fuel that he will sell from his refinery, being produced here in the federal capital, in the federal republic of Nigeria, 
and as a private organization, a corporate organization, a different entity. He said that the price he will serve to Nigerians will be determined by the Federal Executive Council. And the Federal Executive Council is chaired by President Bola Metinobu. In fact, if you read his story, he went ahead to thank President Bola Metinobu for what he has provided for them, how he has uh, made it possible for them to get crude and getting it in Naira and what that could mean to the economy. Ask yourself, is it Federal Executive Council that determines the price of cement that Dangote is selling? Because he is a manufacturer of cement. He is a manufacturer of uh, 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 spaghetti. He has a brand of spaghetti. Is it Federal Executive Council that determines that? Why should Federal Executive Council be, a, be the one to determine the price of fuel of Dangote refinery? He said that it is the Federal, Federal Executive Council. In other words, it is Bola Metinubu and his people that will determine the price that Dangote will sell to Nigerians. Again, he also came up with a, a, another bullet in that his story. He said that Dangote refinery will only sell fuel to Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited. So that NNPCL will now sell to marketers, that they will not sell directly to marketers. Can you beat that? In other words, they are creating an atmosphere where NNPCL will also claim to be paying subsidy. So Dangote will sell NNPCL on a certain price then marketers will sell on a different price and they will sell that they will sell to an npcl on a different price and npcl will pay will now sell to marketers on a different price also note the sequence shortly after dangote said all these things an npcl increased the price of fuel If that is not a connivance between the government and the Dangote refinery to dampen the hope of Nigerians that the operation of the Dangote refinery is going to bring down the price of fuel, I don't know what it is. But this is an indication of also to tell us that we should be careful how we look at some of these private entities thinking because they are private that they are going to look after our own interests. And I was warning people, I said, do not expect that the price of fuel will be, uh, will be, will be lower because Dangote is producing fuel. Look at the cement he's producing. It doesn't come cheap. But for price of fuel to increase to over 800 naira now under this harsh economy, and Dangote is comfortable with it, and the federal government of Nigeria is comfortable with it, I do not believe the denial by the federal government that they didn't authorize NNPCL to increase the price of fuel. I don't buy into that. If you believe that, then you can believe anything. But the issue is this, Dangote and federal government are in the same club. All they are interested is their own interest. I would have thought that with the refinery located in Nigeria producing fuel, that Dangote should be selling directly to marketers so that NNPC will be eliminated as a middleman. 
so that you buy even if fuel prices are different in different geographic location it's fine and good after all bola medinibu is priding himself as a reformer don't forget he said that the price of the naira the, the the value of the naira today is determined by demand and supply willing buyer willing seller is that not what he said that was why they floated the naira demand and supply will determine the price of the rate of the naira to the dollar to the pounds on a daily basis willing buyer willing seller that was what they did in flotation of the naira that was why naira moved from 400 and 400 naira to the dollar at the official window under buhari and 700 naira to the dollar in the black market under buhari to 1600 naira basically under bola Medinibu presently demand and supply determined so why is it that they don't want demand and supply to determine the price of fuel why is that so because dangote should not be made to appear like a monopoly the truth of the matter is that dangote is not the only refinery in nigeria he may be the one most popular there is a do refinery there are other refineries under construction in aquaibo in Imo state there are refineries there are pockets of refineries that can take care of the needs so why this fixation with nmpcl determining the price of fuel when you have a local refiner like dangota available it all, all it that means that they want to use fuel to continue to rip off nigerians to continue to take out money from the pockets of nigerians because if the demand uh, forces of demand and supply determine the price of fuel if you are living in edo and you have a door refinery and the door refinery should be able to meet the needs of edo state delta state and the surrounding states around there why do you need dangote fuel if you are living in Aquaibon and uh, uh, Bua's uh, refinery in Aquaibon began, began uh, is operational, you can be getting your fuel. People living in Aba, those who are living in Abia State, those who are living in Cross River, those who are living in uh, even River State can be getting their fuel from there. And if Port Harcourt refinery, they say, is going to come up on streaming, it's working. People can be getting their refinery within that geographic location. So what's the business of NNPCL in creating atmosphere for, for fuel subsidy when buying from Dangote inside Nigeria? And you can see how Dangote was clear about the whole, his intention. He said, it is Federal Executive Council that will determine the price of fuel that he will sell. That's an absurdity in a free market. That's why Nigerians should watch them very carefully. Although I know that labor has rejected the increase, but you know how labor is after they make some noise, go and strike. At the end of the day, uh, price will be reduced to a level where everybody will say, okay, at least it's available then things will continue the way it is. But the truth of the matter is that Dangote refinery is not the savior that Nigerians think it is in the issue of petroleum availability in Nigeria. Dangote has just exposed it with his utterances about the Federal Executive Council determining the price of his fuel. When the same Federal Executive Council is not determining the price of his cement, the price of his salt, the price of his sugar, the price of his spaghetti. Why is Federal Executive Council determining the price of Dangote fuel? That's a question that Nigerians should ask for an answer from both Dangote and the Federal Executive Council of Nigeria. That's my take on the latest increase on the price of fuel in Nigeria which will have dire consequences on the economy going forward. Already you know that the economy is in dire straits as a result of the flotation of the Naira. 
and the removal of the fuel subsidy by the Tinubu administration. Thank you for watching this video and if you are new to my channel, you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, anytime I have a new video, you'll be among the first to know. God bless. And please don't forget to like this video because when you like it, Google will rank it high and recommend it for more people. Thank you and God bless you and yours.